So when folks engage DocuSign, these are some of the common questions and sort of common challenges that people bring to DocuSign every day. So people say, hey, I, I did a great job selling my product and I got the contract, but now, now it's, it's hard to, uh, after getting a verbal yes from somebody, to, to actually close a deal. They'll tell us things like, I managed to get a contract out, but I've lost visibility into that business process. So when I do things like email a contract to a potential buyer, or I fax a contract to a customer, or I overnight it, my visibility into that process went from, from tremendous, maybe inside my internal system that's automated and, and electronic, to really poor when it moves out to, a, to an analog third-party system. Uh, some of the newer challenges we hear, especially, and I think this should be resonant to, the, to this audience, is, hey, we, we're committed to Salesforce. We're, we're moving our business onto Salesforce, or at least a significant part of it. So we understand getting rid of paper, and we're interested in electronic signature, but it has to, it has to exist inside of Salesforce. You guys have to couple with Salesforce because we're committed to that. We also hear, and I think this is even more specific to this audience, which is, which is sort of a more of an SMB audience, people get e-signature, so a lot of our conversations are, hey, that sounds great. Hey, I'd like to do that. But there's also a very real concern inside of smaller companies that they don't have the technical bandwidth to take on the project. So a lot of what we want to discuss today is not only telling you sort of the pains that we solve with our software, um, the visibility that we provide with, with a, a solution like DocuSign for Salesforce, but we want to make it very clear today that the integration with Salesforce is strong and secure and valuable and provides you with ROI, but maybe even more importantly, to get there, it's not a heavy lift. This is not months and months of development. You don't need to hire a bunch of expensive technical people. This is something that you can get up and running with uh, relatively quickly and relatively easy, and we're going we're gonna to show you a little bit of that today. As the transition slide to the demo, let's make it abundantly clear what, what we're talking about here. So DocuSign, of course, is its own cloud-based service, but DocuSign for Salesforce is a special thing. It's, it's effectively a, a pre-built connection between Salesforce and DocuSign that both companies have been working on for years. Um, it's an App Exchange package. It's installed as an App Exchange package. You can do it right from the App Exchange. And really what it lets you do is it, it, it manifests the DocuSign service and connections functions that DocuSign is familiar with in a connection to your DocuSign account inside your Salesforce.com environment. So you can do things like manage the users in Salesforce that can see DocuSign. You can take data from any object in Salesforce and have it, that data participate in a DocuSign signing ceremony. You can create workflows and buttons that launch business processes. Um, and you can actually see what's happening in DocuSign without having to go to DocuSign. You can stay in Salesforce. You can watch uh, envelopes in flight in Chatter and get Chatter updates to see where your contracts and your NDAs are in the process. And then once something's complete, the signed document, the certificate, all the history that comes from the DocuSign platform is available in a custom object inside of Salesforce. So it's handy, powerful, convenient, and easy to implement. And so I'm going to hand the microphone over to Drew McCabe, who's going to give you a demo of DocuSign for Salesforce. Thanks, Ryan. So here we are, and I am in Salesforce. You see that I'm logged in as uh, I'm impersonating the inimitable Ryan Cox. I work for Spacely Sprockets, and I'm a sales rep. Um, I've been working with my opportunity, Advanced Space Travel Corp., and, and we just came to terms on this deal, and it's time to close this deal. Um, so what, what, my, uh, what Salesforce has done for me here is given me a way to very easily send this document out for signature once I've uh, come to terms with my prospect. If we look at this opportunity, you see that it's in uh, at the negotiation review stage. It's at 90% probability. Um, if you look down on the data here, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit, you'll see that I don't have a purchase order number yet. I'm going to want to collect that from my customer during the, the, uh, the signing process. And if you look down here, we've got some products that were part of the, uh, the negotiation between myself and the customer. And we also have some contacts. So we see Stephanie Curran is the decision maker on this particular opportunity, and Stephanie is going to act as the signer for this contract. And I'm calling these things out because it's really about this data that you've gone about during the sales process, being able to drive this document execution workflow so that your salesperson really can't mess 
uh, mess up, you've, you've created a system that allows them to very easily, and I'll go ahead and if you see this uh, one click send button, just by clicking this button, I as the sales rep am able to initiate this document to go uh, to package up all of that data and my workflow rules and send that out with a single click. So in a moment, we'll see an acknowledgement come back uh, that tells me that these documents were sent out successfully. At this point, as the sales rep, I'm done. I can move on to my next, uh, my next call, or some of our customers will even stay on the line with their customer and walk them through this signing process because over in my customer's inbox, they've got an email that's immediately delivered and ready to sign. Before I do that though, let's just go ahead and look at what's left uh, behind in this opportunity. I'll just scroll down for a moment and you see this DocuSign status object here. And that's left behind and, and we have this record that we just sent and we can see that that's sent. You see some previous uh, documents that we've sent and, and the statuses that those are in, whether they're completed or someone's just looked at them. And all of that's visible right here within the CRM. So let's go ahead and jump over into the signing view. Okay, so we're changing hats. First we were working as the sales rep within, doc, uh, within Salesforce. Now we're changing hats and we are uh, playing the role of Stephanie, the customer. And in Stephanie's email, she has received this, uh, this email from Spacely Sprockets. And you can see that it comes from her sales rep that she's working with. It's branded to that company. So you're, you're able to maintain your brand and have that personal connection with your customers. All that Stephanie needs to do is to click on the button to review the documents. And that's going to bring her into our secure, the DocuSign secure signing service. And so Stephanie is being prompted on what she needs to do. When you think about the adoption rate and the success we've had there, it's really all about making it easy and intuitive for your signers who may have never seen this process before to be able to get through and, and perform the, the signing successfully. You'll see that uh, Stephanie has some other options like maybe finishing later or maybe she's not comfortable with signing electronically. You can still offer an opportunity for her to sign via a paper-based channel if, if, that's, uh, if, if uh, she prefers that. But we find uh, that um, our, your customers and the market is ready to adopt this new electronic flow because it's just so much more convenient. So now I have the opportunity to uh, review the document and, we'll, and DocuSign even provides a, a guided tour that will take them through specifically the things that they need to do, which may include something more than uh, signing the document. You see here that purchase order number that we wanted to collect. We can actually just go ahead and co collect that right within the signing flow. And so the customer is able to do that on their terms from their uh, you know, however it was that they received this, this document. They also have things like some of the data is going to be not editable like this billing address, but what if they wanted to change their shipping address? Um, you could actually enable them to go ahead and update certain fields and you're in complete control about which fields they get to update. Things like the shipping method is another one where you might enable someone to make certain types of changes um, but lock down those things that are, that are outside of their authority. Now we're to the point where they're going to sign the document. And, and so how do you sign a document with a computer? What we've done is borrowed from familiar processes like these sticky tags. And if I just click on this sticky tag, it's going to prompt Stephanie to adopt her electronic signature. And by doing this, Stephanie is attesting that this electronic moniker is going to have the same uh, effect as her pen on paper signature. And all she needs to do is to adopt this signature and DocuSign will then apply that signature to the specific place where you've said that she needs to sign the document. If there were more documents in this package or more pages or signatures, Stephanie would just navigate down from one to the next um, until she had completed all of her tasks. And you notice that she didn't get a chance to confirm the signing until she had done each one of those required tasks. And that's how you can trust that anything that comes through the system is going to be signed correctly without any missing signatures or mistakes. 
So the last step is for her to click this confirm signing, and that's just a way to, uh, to be conservative so that someone can't say, I brushed, I brushed up against the mouse or I did something accidentally. We take a very conservative approach to making sure that these comply with all of the legislation DocuSign warrants that our system complies with the, the federal e-sign law, and we're the only e-signature provider to do that. I can now download or print my document. And then if I just go ahead and close this window, I as the customer can be taken back to your website. Um, in this case, we're taken back to the Spacely Sprockets website where we can continue to upsell that customer or, or, or increase our brand reach with our customers. So that was, the, uh, that was the customer experience. Now what does the sales team need to do in order to, to, uh, to take advantage of this this new optimal path that my customer took? And the answer is they don't need to do anything. Um, this, the connection from, I just jumped back into Salesforce. So now we're, we're back in Salesforce and we're looking at things from the, uh, from the sender's perspective. And what you're going to see here, when I refresh this uh, screen on this opportunity, we're going to see that the effects of that signature process are automatically brought back into Salesforce.com you see that the stage automatically updated to closed one and 100%, and that might trigger the next step in the process in terms of fulfilling this order or, or processing, uh, the, you know, processing that, that contract. We see that the purchase order automatically came back in. We see that the shipping method similarly came back in, and that address that we changed um, can update the address in the account. Now, what about um, how would I know to come back and look for this? Well, if you look here in the chatter feed, DocuSign for Salesforce can chatter this activity as well. And so anyone who's interested in this opportunity, whether it's sales management or the, uh, the rep themselves, they're proactively notified and there's this trail of the, the activity on this, on this opportunity. And then if I go ahead and, and click into the, the status record for this particular document ceremony, um, you have some, some interesting information. There's some analytics that your sales operation team um, can, can start to use to, to manage your business better. Um, you have all of the audit trail about when it was sent and looked at and signed. And then down here, the documents are automatically brought back into, uh, into Salesforce.com. So to, to open that up, you don't have to wonder where those documents are anymore, or you don't have to uh, pester your sales reps to remember to update those documents and put them back into the, into the CRM. It's done automatically so your salespeople can just sell more and not worry about the administration of this business. So if you think about what just happened, we enabled your sales rep to very easily and quickly kick off this process. We allowed your, uh, your management team to be aware of what's going on in the process at all times. Your customer had a very intuitive, easy way to sign this document within the flow of whatever it was that they were doing, whether they're in a meeting, whether they're on a plane. Um, and then your sales operation team knows that every document that came through this service was signed correctly and is, can be a hero within your organization. So that's the types of things that our customers are realizing with DocuSign for Salesforce and why they're so excited. And, um, and we're really happy to, hear to show it with you here today. So here's sort of a, a shining example, and it's a quote from Meredith Schmidt, who's the SVP of Revenue Operations at Salesforce. And this is, of course, ROI achieved at a larger company like Salesforce, but, but, but by all means, um, businesses of, of all sizes uh, reap the same benefits. And look at what Meredith says, right? It used to take two days to close a deal. Now 90% of her deals happen in, in one day, and 70% of those close in one hour. So again, it's sales contract specific. Um, based on volume, this could be more meaningful to Meredith. But now what she does at the end of the quarter is she sleeps, and she has accurate forecasts that go to her boss. And she doesn't you know, chase and pray and hope that someone who's a critical path person in a contract has already gone to Tahoe for Thanksgiving or whatever, th those, those are things of the past in Meredith's world. And she, she candidly does more with her team without having to grow her team because she uses DocuSign.